Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Contest of Champions video and in this one we're going to be talking about Jessica Jones, primarily how to fight her with any champion. Now we have been seeing a little bit more of Jessica these days, obviously there were many lucky summoners who got her from the gifting event last year or the banquet, whatever you would like to call it, and we definitely see her in a lot of top tier wars, however in war you can usually send an ideal counter. This video is primarily for those encounters when we see her in battlegrounds and we just don't have the right champions to fight her, and additionally in questing. I know that every month there's always one quest that throws the Jessica Jones on the map and it's definitely not the skill quest and you need to beat her with like a mutant or something. So we're going to talk about those situations if you aren't able to fit in a counter, how to take her on. Now the structure of this video is we're going to start talking about her kit first, primarily how the investigation system works and what to look for. Then we're gonna take a little bit of time to talk about the ideal counters. We're gonna then transition to how to bait her specials appropriately. And then finally, we're gonna talk about how to fight her without a counter, because there is a way, it just might take a little bit longer. Now, the things that make Jessica Jones annoying are first of all, she does have a decent amount of resistances, and as the fight goes on, she also can throw weakness and more resistances on you. So this means anybody that relies on energy or physical damage to get through is going to have a little bit of trouble doing a lot of damage on her. Ways to counter this are with critical hits and then some debuffs and direct damage, primarily things like bleed, poison, and degen which are not affected by physical and energy resistance are definitely going to be good. Now let's talk about investigation. When she's a defender, basically she gets two when you cross a bar of power. She gets one investigation if you're inflicted with a debuff. And then when you get over two bars and you just sit there, she starts to accrue investigation over time. I like to think of this ability a little bit like Spider-Ham with his nonsense. The only big difference between them is that it does not naturally fall off. So once she gets to 10, she pretty much stays at 10, unlike Spider-Ham, where you can kind of wait it out. Now, the numbers that you need to know in her investigation, when she has three, things start happening when you throw a special. Basically what will happen then is she puts three weakness debuffs on you when you throw a special and she gets a resistance stack, making her even more tanky. Then at five, basically she becomes unstoppable when you throw a special. At seven, she also becomes unstoppable and gets that resistance when she throws a special. And then at 10, in addition to all the abilities that we've already talked about, she also goes unblockable in addition to the unstoppable after you throw a special, uh, but it does not happen when she throws hers, so she will not get the unblockable. Now there are visual cues that help you with this. When you get to five, the investigation icon turns yellow, signifying the unstoppable is on its way. And then when you get over 10, it turns purple, the unblockable icon letting you know that that is going to happen. Also just know that when she is sigged pretty high, her power rate between zero and one bars of power is going to be pretty fast, so she's gonna have a lot of specials. Now the only way to remove investigation is with a cleanse effect. Note this is not purify, this is not any other type of debuff control, it has to be cleanse. And there's a limited number of champs that have cleanse that we are going to get into in just a minute. I would also give a quick shout out to the new Tranquilize mechanic, which only Mantis and Kate Bishop have currently. Um, Mantis doesn't really have a powerful enough one to guarantee that this will work, in my opinion. Uh, unless if she's like high sig, against science champions, she does have a really good, you know, chance to get rid of the weakness debuffs that are coming, but I do worry a little bit about it always working. She's a little finicky in that regard. Um, however, Kate Bishop, once ramped, might be able to stop these debuffs because the, the unstoppables and the unblockables come based on the debuffs that land on you. I would say though that Purify is not reliable. I did some duels with Kingpin, for example, and even though he can get rid of debuffs at a good rate, if they are there when she starts throwing the special, then she will still get the effects of the unstoppable. So now that we've briefly gone over how investigation works, 
We will talk more about that soon, but let's talk about some ideal counters. The first type of counter is going to be a cleanse champion. As we said, if you proc a cleanse effect or a buff is cleansed through this effect, then it removes to investigation. And with this, you can pretty much keep it at a low enough level that none of her annoying abilities like the unstoppable and beyond will ever trigger. Some really good cleanse champions. Jabari gets it on pretty much every hit. Shang-Chi gets it with his Wushu strike going medium, light, medium. So it's pretty easy to access as long as you're keeping up with your Wushus. And then Baron Zemo and Mantis are other champs that have cleanse. With Mantis, it's a little tricky because you do have to throw the special ones, which usually don't end up in her rotation that often. But as I mentioned, the Tranquilize could potentially work as well. Then we get to the type two type of counter. This is unstoppable counters. Almost everyone I know says they like using Valkyrie against Jessica and I can see why. She gets to 11 combo and then unstoppable is essentially turned off for the rest of the fight. That is of course if she is SIG 200. So at that point you will have to deal with the resistances and you will have to deal with the unblockable potentially when she gets to 10 which is almost inevitable. However, However, you won't have to deal with the unstoppable at all. You can hit her freely and she will eventually go down. In addition to Valkyrie, who is one of the most elegant unstoppable counters, there are slow champions, including Shang-Chi, Stealth Suit Spider-Man, and Hawkeye in the skill class. You could also go into one of the other classes, like the science class with She-Hulk, Spider-Gwen, etc. Note that Sorcerer Supreme will not work because of class disadvantage. And also, we've recently seen some decelerate champs. They may take a little bit to get going, but you know, Anti-Venom, I guess technically on paper, can deal with the unstoppable. Now there is also champions like, you know, Archangel who can, for obvious reasons, probably get the fight over before it even starts. Um, but in general, I wouldn't consider him a really good counter because if things get out of hand, you may not be able to control the fight as it goes on. Next, we're gonna talk a little bit about baiting her specials. First, we'll actually talk about the heavy attack. Now her heavy attack is a one hit heavy. It is like a jumping lunge where she does a knee kick and the recovery animation on it is pretty fast. So if you are not fast enough to punish this one hit heavy right away, you are going to get smacked and she can throw it pretty quickly and it can catch you off guard. So just make sure you remember that. Often the newer champs have multi-hit heavies, so just remembering that you have to get in there right away is important. Next up, the special one. You have to be very careful with the special one because if you do get hit by one of these random projectiles, then it will apply the debuffs on block and most of them are pretty bad. I guess you could say that like the physical vulnerability one isn't that bad or suppression or something because then you can willpower heal off of it. But to keep track of which one is coming next and make sure that you don't block one of the bad ones, like if she throws the whole kitchen sink at you, is probably not worth the risk and the reward there. Now I will say I love this animation where it's like she literally picks up anything in sight and throws it at you. You can look at the little dormant icon to know which one is coming. Now the way to bait this special, the safest way is simply to just back up to the end of the screen, wait for her to throw the thing at you and dash out of the way. But of course this does leave you pretty far away from her and you're gonna have to parry to get the next opening. So what I also like to do is a little bit more fancy Fancy, but kind of like with Super Scroll or Void or Long Shot or one of those champions that throws projectiles with a delay, you can dash beyond the reach of her first three hits, then dash in and then await her to throw the projectile. And then you can dash and punish as we can see in the background. This is pretty effective. And as long as you're using a counter that can deal with the unstoppable or you're keeping the investigation low, you can do that. Now the special two is not difficult to evade, but it is one of those specials that will push you pretty far back. It has a lot of motions and it's pretty tricky to read if you don't practice it. The key is that the uppercut gives it away, all right? So she does some actions, she does a leap in the air, maybe one more little attack, but then she spins around and does an uppercut. And when you see that uppercut, you know you can safely dash in. So in other words, remember the uppercut. She does get a passive fury off of this. So if you do make a mistake and you dash in the middle of the animation, the fury is going to hurt. 
Now that we've talked about all of our specials and that we've talked a little bit about the best counters, what do you do if you're facing that Jessica Jones in 2.1 of the EQ or something like that and you forgot to bring a counter? Well, here's the, uh, the two lazy didn't watch the video. It's right here, so I hope you're listening. You're allowed to use two bars of power. And then after that, don't throw specials and basically pretend she's Unstoppable Colossus. And that's it. That's all it takes. Now, why is that true? Basically, once you've used two bars of power, she will have four investigations. So this is right before the danger zone. At that point, if you fill another bar of power, she will get her five investigation, which means the next time you throw a special, she's going to go unstoppable in the middle of you throwing it and you're gonna get punished. So for the rest of the fight, you just don't throw specials. Now, if she's on a node where you have to throw specials, this is obviously a problem, but if you can just deal with the death by basic hits, then she's probably gonna be fine. Now, when I say she turns into Unstoppable Colossus, all you need to know is that once she gets to seven investigation, after she throws a special, she's gonna go unstoppable for I think it's six seconds. You can watch the passive unstoppable timer go on and know when to punish her. So we've been fighting unstoppable Colossus since you know 2015, the big one in the Labyrinth of Legends, all that stuff. Everybody knows when you see you see you don't punish his specials as soon as he throws them. And with Jessica, it's the same thing. You do have to be careful about getting back up, and she will potentially go unblockable during the same time. But if you're well, actually she won't. Uh, that only happens when you throw a special. So if you just wait out the unstoppable, you'll be absolutely fine and you can just do death by basic hits. Now in the most recent Vega Battlegrounds Championship matchup where I was in the three-star tournament, I actually used Hulkling to win a round fighting Jessica Jones because I knew that this was the thing that would happen. I essentially threw one special two and then from the rest of the fight, I didn't throw specials. The only time I threw a special two is at the very, very end. I knew I was gonna be unblockable and that it would kill her even if she went unstoppable. So you can certainly throw the special if it's like a special three or an unblockable special and you know it's going to kill her. So anyway, I hope that helps a little bit. Um, you obviously wanna try to have one of those counters. Um, Shang-Chi being probably the most elegant counter, Valkyrie probably being the most popular counter. Uh, I am going to link a video by Bryce mu 8 who is one of my alliance mates who took down a Jessica Jones with Valkyrie. This was a alliance war boss in tier one, so it was a pretty stacked Jessica. You should definitely check out that video. Um, but otherwise, if you do get stuck fighting her, just remember, you can use two bars of power and then after that you're essentially just going to not throw specials and just remember that she goes unstoppable after her specials practice the dexes remember that the heavy is very quick and after that you should have a pretty pretty decent time crits help bleeds help any other kind of direct damage will definitely help Definitely don't try to use somebody that is putting on lots of energy debuffs and such because her resistances will add up and that should do it. So anyway, let me know what I left out. Did this help you? Is this going to help you fight her in the EQ uh, when you see her in Battlegrounds? I'd love to know your opinion. And if you have any other tips that you'd like to give me, please do share it in the comment section. We'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.